So hey, right now I'm in Lodi. I'm just leaving Lodi. I'm at Highway 12. Um, I'm going on an eight-day adventure, and I thought you guys might want to go along. This is the bus. We're on the big bus. This is the big bus. There it is. For anybody who hasn't been in there, bedroom way back there. And we're looking at Highway 12 eastbound. We're listening to Cat Stevens. And it's noon on Sunday, probably about the 22nd, I bet. So here we go, man. I stopped to set up the camera and take a break for a minute. And I need you people to go. Let's go. And this is going to be Highway 12 Eastbound. I think we got to go about 25 miles. All right, so here we go. All right, so I just thought I'd open this up. This is going to be an adventure. We'll see how it goes. I hope I survive it. All right, see you later. We're well, still on Highway 12. Um, this used to all be farmland out here, like ranches and things. But now it's becoming a winery. <laughs> I mean, you know, you make more money in a wine field and probably have much more fun. But it used to be the salad bowl of America. Now it's all wineries. Lodi, stuck in Lodi again, however I'm not. All right, green clear water, see ya. Little town, USA. We're gonna start climbing. It seems like we're already climbing, heading out of the valley. I don't know what our altitude is. I think it's about 500 feet where we're going. But it's the foothills of the Sierra Mountains on the west coast of the United States, California. Um, they go from sea level down here in the valley, or 50 feet above sea level, which is where Lodi is probably 100 feet above sea level, to uh, 14,500, I think Mount Whitney is. Anyway, we're not going there, but we're going to go up 500 feet into the foothills, Oaks kind of scrubby oak and stuff like that. 45, picking it up. So, yeah, that's what's happening. The thriving metropolis of Clements, California. I already passed the sign. I didn't see any elevation. It's got to be probably 200 feet. But I'm just seeing right up that straight ahead. You can start to see the foothills just a little bit. This is Lone Star Mill, huh? This thing, this town is built, probably built around the mill. Amen. So go on YouTube, look up the TV show from the 60s and probably early 70s called The Big Valley. And it, this is what it looks like. There's some foothills out there. We're probably going on the other side of that very first ridge to the right. Um, Comanche Reservoir is up here on the left. In fact, I will turn that a little bit. There's a sign for Comanche Reservoir right here. McCallie River Fish Hatchery. So we're at McCallie River right at the bottom of, uh, of that lake. And in a minute we'll be there. The Big Valley, that TV show supposedly took place in Stockton and the foothills. You look, it looks just like this. Kind of cool for you people from the East Coast to watch this video. This will be an interesting video. I hope this will be an interesting video. I hope you'll enjoy it. I'll try and make it a you know, reasonable length, like 20 minutes or something. We'll see. There's a good, a decent view of the foothills. There's some smoke coming in, blowing in from San Francisco that is coming down the coast from fires that are burning in Oregon. When it gets down to San Francisco and the sea breeze through the Golden Gate, blows it in the foothills, so at 10 miles you can't even see the foothills. But now we're starting to really roll into them. We're about 300 feet now. California oak, don't cut them. Can't cut a California oak. 
Not without permission from a judge. All right. That wall there of dirt, that is the south shore, the south levee of Comanche Reservoir. So you look on a map, bring up Comanche Reservoir in Central California. We're in Central California. This would be considered Central California. So that is where we are. Haunted House, Lake Comanche, 45 zone. So that's where we are. It's kind of like Central California. So I'm in Valley Springs. I should have had this on earlier. Maybe when I leave, I'll take a different picture. Um, the address of where I'm going is Valley Springs. And they are, I don't know, probably eight miles south of Valley Springs. They're quite a ways south of Valley Springs. So we'll just have to see. But what I'm doing here is I'm going to eat. There's a round table. That was what I was looking for, is a round table. Where is it? I don't know if I can do this. I can do this, not a sweat. No problem, no problem. Here we go. Ready for this? Hey, baby. Let's just keep going. We're all right. So we're on our way. We've already made the turn. We're on 26 West. We're going to turn here in a minute. I think we're going to turn in like a half a mile. <coughs> we're going to get off of this road and we're going to go on to uh, Maybe an asphalt road is right straight ahead. Yeah, I get to go straight and they're all turning. We'll see what happens here. There we go. There you have to stop. I don't. So yeah, we're on course. So here we are, New Hogan Reservoir Road. I think this is New Hogan Lake. New Hogan Lake. New Hogan Dam Road is what probably what this is. Anyways, I'll be back with you in a minute. We're at uh, 13. I bet we do. We're at 20 when we get to where I'm going, and the road will get much worse than this. Not a hell of a lot, but you watch. New Hogan Lakes out there through the trees. Um, you can see it occasionally. You'll see it. For those of you on the east, in the east, wonder why California burns. We haven't had a rainstorm in this place since about March or April, and that was a good soaking rain. It was enough to make everything grow really good. Here we are, August. No, we're not. We're October, holy crud. We're in October, and this place has been bone dry for six months, five months. I'll try and get, let me get a turn here on this. Right there, New Hogan Reservoir. I think it's New Hogan Reservoir, it could be New Hogan Lake. Whatever it is, you know, hey. So right there is New Hogan Dam. I think at the bottom there's a little bitty powerhouse, it ain't much, but um, we still have a double yellow line, so I mean this is like asphalt, hey, it's a pretty good road still so far. I just saw it pass the sign that says weight limit 7 tons, which I'm a little more than that. My problem is that there's big trucks coming down here, and I was cleared to come down here. So I'm coming down here. 
they told me I could come down here. So I'm coming down here. Anyways, yeah, New Hogan Dam right there. That's quarry in front of us. And this is where we're at, you know? This is the road right here. So now we don't have a double line anymore, but at least it's asphalt still. And where are we at? I said 13, we're at 16, we're at 17 right now, so there's four miles so far, and we're not into the dirt yet. All right. <laughs> I actually lied a few minutes ago. We had rain about two weeks ago or three weeks ago, and in some parts of the area here, it was heavy rain. Uh, it was all right at home, but in some parts of Sacramento, it sprinkled. In other parts of Sacramento, there was thunder and lightning. That was the day I got off the lake because of the thunder and lightning storm on the lake. I was kayaking and it was time to get off because it was getting close. So we have had rain here, and you can see that it greened it up pretty good. It's pretty green out here. Um, but some of the grass is just, no wonder this place burns, and when it burns, see the wind, it's windy out there too. When it burns and it's warm like it is, it's 75 degrees out there. It's, uh, this place is a matchstick waiting to happen something else and look at how thick that manzanita is on up right straight ahead of us you talk about a hot fire baby that burns hot there you go all right <sighs> yeah Smooth, feel how smooth it is. Oh, I just saw the shadow of a big old bird up there. Oh, oh. There are some houses out here. It's interesting because they're out on little points, but I wonder where you get the water. I mean, I guess you're on a well out here, but. But the water, I mean, the lake's right there. We're only 100 feet up from the lake. If that, 75 feet maybe. But uh, uh, yeah, this is not a high speed road unless you're on a motor bike, motor uh, cycle, you know, one of them price rocket things. Might be a nice ride on a Honda 50. It's at about 7 in the morning, sunrise. But um, I'll give you a shot out this window if I can. If I can, because there's the lake right there, <laughs> right behind me. There you go. There's the lake. So we're crossing one of the arms right now. There it is, off to the left and off to the right. Actually, this left and that right. Uh, that's how you do it, Jerry, if you're watching. When you make a mistake, you correct yourself right then and there. Okay? <laughs> See ya. The shooting range out here. <laughs> Look at their shooting range. Yeah, baby. Cool. And a little kid on that thing. <laughs> In a second, you'll see that white car disappear out of the view. Guy just pulled up next to me. I pulled over to let him go by. He pulls up next to me and says, if you've never been down here, you're never going to make it. And I said, I'm only going about two miles down to the ranch. He says, okay. Because if, if they try to go too far, you'll never make it. And I said, yeah. I looked at the map, and I'm not interested in going any further. As we come around the turn here, there's a barn out there on the side of that hill, way out there. That's where we're going, is that barn. 
I didn't know you could see it from here. <laughs> yeah, it's a tight little road here from this point on out. Pretty tight. Um, if you could have been with Andrea and I when we went to the Pinnacles, that was worse than this by a long shot. And I swear to God, that road, that's a highway from Boonville. You get a close-up of that, the last 15 miles of that or 10 miles. That road is atrocious. And we went on, we went on that road in this. And uh, so, yeah, this road here is not too shabby. Ah, uh, yeah, here we go. Continuing on, quarter mile. This is not it. We haven't hit the dirt road yet, actually. This is the dirt road. Oh yeah, maybe this is it. I guess this is it, probably. Yeah, this is it. So to give you a hint of what we're going to do here. Then I'll get my bicycle out and I'll go check in. That is what we are doing here. Right there. That's what we're going to do here. Pretty cool, huh? So if you look up the big valley on TV, like I told you earlier, this is what it looks like. Except there's no mo mobile motorhomes there. But this is where I am. Black Hawk Paramotor. Black Hawk Ranch. Black Hawk Paramotor. And that's a scan of the runway. That's where I am. It's tomorrow morning, Monday morning. Bright and early. <laughs>